Strauss is always interested in the, the contradictions of producing art and what the meaning of art is as, as a human enterprise. And that he is, he's looking at the idea of love and on the one hand saying that in, in love and in music, we as human beings touch the divine. Um, but that we also have to live our daily lives. We have to eat our meals. We have to um, amuse ourselves. We have to get on with the with the prosaic uh, concerns of of living our lives. And that uh, and this is this is borne out in the in the beautiful duet between Zerbinetta and the composer in the prologue, where Zerbinetta says that um, you know on stage. She is always having to fall in love um, with the next man that comes along. That she is, uh, everyone thinks that she is fickle because that's the character that she plays on stage. That she is longing for the one love that will come along and transform her life. At the same time, the story that is enacted is is centered around this contradiction that we are moved by the idea of a love which is for all time. But somehow uh, we find attraction comes and knocks us sideways all the way through our lives, and sometimes from different people. This contradiction that um, um, you know you can have an ideal in your head and uh, and a different experience in practice. Um, and similarly, there's I think in the contradiction between the high and the low art that are that are brought together so so cleverly and so wittily and so interestingly. Um, uh, by Strauss and, and Hoffmann style, um, there is that, this idea that the theatre itself, like life, um, is has to has the somehow balance the contradictions of the high and the low. That uh, that you you need to keep great aspiration, and music has to has to search and touch the divine. At the same time, you need to enjoy yourself. <laughs> so, with Strauss, you always have the feeling that he has an incredible sense of, of texture. Um, so even sometimes the most um, delicately scored passage can have a richness that's extraordinary. And, and then, I mean, conversely, in the Alpine Symphony, for instance, there's a passage uh, which describes a waterfall where, I mean, if you look at the score, it's, paid, it's a huge thing, but the delicacy of that moment is incredibly breathtaking. So he, yeah, he was an extraordinary wizard um, as far as orchestration is concerned. But it's never, it's never just color for color's sake. It's always there at the, at the service of the of the text and the and the emotion of the of the drama. We've we've set the uh, the the prologue. So the world of the opera is is our own world, a contemporary world, um, which seemed to me very important for the. For the bustle and the comedy, really, of the um, uh, of the of the beginning of the work, Strauss has a lot of jokes about the world of opera, um, and we've reinforced that with the sense that the um, uh, the the tenor who plays Bacchus and the prima donna who plays Ariadne um, come out looking like clowns. Really, they've got their heads in little caps, waiting for their wigs. They've got uh, Kleenex uh, tissues around their necks, waiting for their makeup to go on, and they're wearing um, uh, lurid uh, dressing gowns. And they, they and, and so, and Strauss writes them as rather preposterous figures. Um, the comedy troupe, who are the clowns of the piece, uh, on the other hand, appear like very normal people, very down to earth people. And so, you've got this fantastic kind of cross contradiction that's going on visually as well. Uh, Jane, I mean, who I have worked with before, um, she is a remarkable servinetta. I mean, um, was she from Nova Scotia? I think. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic. I've been working in Europe, um, in Vienna, also Geneva, all sorts of places, and she is. Uh, uh, I mean, she, the the dizzying heights of this uh, of the tessitura of this part seem to have no uh, terrors for her at all, and she's she's a wonderful actress. Um, who captures both the coquettish side and the and the inner kind of um, yearning side of Zerbinetta brilliantly. Then we have Adrian Pajonka, who again I've known for a long time, but I've never worked with her before, um, who is uh, in the title role, and she, and she is 
perhaps one of the great Strauss singers of our day, and in, in that kind of, uh, you know, the Marshall in Countess and Capriccio, all those roles, Ariane. Uh, Richard Bargeson is absolutely fabulous as Bacchus. He, he just uh, opens his throat and it all comes pouring out in the way. Uh, in, I mean, he's absolutely splendid.